If this week's episode of Game of Thrones taught me anything, it is just get on with it. Hey guys, how's it going? It's Alex once again, bringing us more fun for your drumming ideas. I've got a cool little sort of sweeping feel around the kit today, um, and you can loop it round and actually turn it into a groove, and it's been used by quite a few other drummers in the past, so you might recognise it. Um, I just thought I'd break it down, show you how it works, and it's a really good idea for beginners or intermediate sort of players to, you know, have a go at. So if you're up for it, stick around, and I'll break it down. Here we go. Okay, so let's crack on straight away by taking it to the kick snare and the hi-hat. Um, we'll take everything we learn on here and then transfer it onto the toms. We end up with this really cool sweeping move, which works really well as like a fill. Or if you sort of keep it going and sort of loop it round and round, it works really well as like an alternative group, like a bridge or like an alternative part of a song that you might be doing. Plus, it's just good, good fun to practice and you know chuck it in as a little exercise. But I thought if we started off with this, we're going to go bass snare right left right bass snare bass. Snare, right, left, right, bass, snare. So I'm bringing my hand down to the snare drum. So we've got bass and hi-hat, snare and hi-hat, right, left, right. So you've got snare, snare, tick, bass, snare. And we speed it up, we get. If we're counting it in the traditional fashion, it would be one, two, and a three, and four. One, two, and a three, and four. So we've just got two sixteenth notes on the and and the uh of um, beat two. One, two, and a, three, and four. So you sort of slow back down to uh, eighth notes after that. Now it's that little right, oh, right, left, right, bass, snare, that we want to loop around. If you can get that down, right, left, right, bass, snare, right, left, right, bass, snare, shut up. You can sort of still hear that pulse kicking away underneath. Now it's that idea that we're going to shove onto the toms and turn into this cool little move I've been banging on about. So it goes a bit like this. We've got right, left, right, bass, snare. Right, left, right, bass, snare. So it's exactly the same concept, you're just voicing it differently. So we've got snare drum, high time with the left, floor with the right. Then we've got our kick, and then we're going to drop down with our well, both hands on the snare and the floor, Tom. So if we start looping that round, then I'll speed it up a little bit. Sounds quite cool if you come off the high tom as well. So that'd be right, left, right, bass, snare. So instead of starting off with your right hand on the snare drum, you just move it up to the, the high tom. Or it works really cool if you've got the middle tom as well. Okay, it's quite fast, but it's simple. So all we've got to do is just repeat that four note pattern and go over and over again. Actually, it's five notes. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, it's five notes, and let's keep going over and over. Now, I thought if I'd show you how we could use it as a little fill, we've got like a one, two, three, and four. One, two, three, and four. One, two, three, and four, and a one, and two, and a three, and four, and a one, and two, and a three, and four. idea. Speed it up. <laughs> and you can carry on like that. Now what also sounds quite cool, just bring your right hand over to the floor Tom and you can start sort of getting this cool Tom groove thing going on. Like. I should have mentioned, you can just chuck in like one or two every now and again. It doesn't really matter because it's always going to sort of sit in the same sort of groove as what we've just been doing now. So, all right, and you can go like and do whatever you want with that. 
What also sounds really cool is if instead of hitting the floor tom and the snare at the same time, if you go for the crash and the snare, you sort of like accentuate that back beat so you get. So there it is, I hope you enjoyed that one. It's a really fun little idea and it's not too hard. So I think anyone that's sort of still learning their sort of basic like quarter note hi-hat ideas like. <laughs> because it's such short bursts of speed, it gives you a bit of time to recover in between. So, you know, it'd be great if everyone can have a crack at this one and then film themselves doing it, send in their clips. And I've got an email address set up specifically for that, which is, um, Let's play the drums at gmail.com. Uh, I'll put a link below, and if you could just send me like little clips of you playing that, just chuck the idea in there, and um, I'll create another one of those compilations that I did or that I was doing. But if we can get loads of people involved doing that, it just makes it look so much better. So, yeah, if you're up for it, send them in. I'll put the link for the uh, email address in the description below. Um, if you did like the video, hit the like button, please. That'd be great. Uh, if you uh, Need to uh, if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe and you get you know tons of free drum lessons every week. And they come with sheet music, which you'll find www.onlinedrummer.com. And um, again, you'll find the link to that in the description. And I'll write out a few little ideas, maybe some different groove ideas that you can try it out with and have some fun with. So yeah, if you want to come and say hello on Facebook or Twitter, I'll probably say hello back, so that'd be cool. Um, go and give the Facebook page a like, so I'm just trying to get it up to a thousand. And if I could, that'd be really, really cool. Um, and it'll make me really, really happy. <laughs> so if you're up for that, that'd be cool. And I'll say goodbye and stop rambling. So uh, until next time, guys, I'll see you very soon and keep on drumming. All right, bye.